considering the combination of two resistors, 7.25 ohms and 4.030 ohms, is connected to a 9.00 volt battery. A, calculate the equivalent resistance of the circuit and the current, and B, what is the potential difference across each resistor? So we have two resistors in series. We have part A, figure out the equivalent resistance of the two resistors, and part B, uh, what is, what are we trying to find again? Potential difference across each resistor. Each resistor, okay. Now I do suggest whenever you're working with a circuit that you need to draw a circuit diagram. So I'm gonna start by drawing a circuit diagram of these two resistors in series. We start with our battery, and then we have a wire, and we have a resistor, and then we have our, sec our wire coming off the other resistor. And then it attaches to the battery. We have one battery, we have resistor one, and we have resistor two. Right? Two resistors in series, which is what I've just drawn. I have a point. That's probably not the best way to draw, right? But this is two resistors in series. My point is this. The overall shape of the wires is actually irrelevant. It's where the wires are attached to the different circuit elements which matter. Generally, we're going to draw it in a shape and size that makes it easier to see what's going on. But you could, I mean, this is two resistors in series. So I'll redraw that in a way that makes a little more sense. Uh, but again, the, the shape of the wires is not important. It is where they are attached to the different circuit components that really matters. So we have our battery. We have resistor one, and we have resistor two. Okay, so we have our anthropomorphic charge. We'll place it right here. We'll put it in the vertical wire. We ask our anthropomorphic qu charge questions this time. Mr. Smith, anthropomorphic charge. Do you feel attracted or repelled from the positive plate? Uh, uh, from the positive plate? Oh, yes, that would make sense. Good. <laughs> Good. Uh, therefore, do you move up or down? Do you feel a force up or down, sir? Uh, notice in this particular case that I have switched the direction of the battery just for fun. The positive is on the bottom, the negative is on the top. Therefore, the current in this particular case is actually going to be going counterclockwise around this circuit from where we happen to be standing. So that would be the direction of the current in this particular case. Uh, let's see, we're looking for the equivalent resistance. Therefore, help me, the equivalent resistance in this particular case, what is the equation for that, Mr. Miller? Because these two are just in series, it ends up being just resistance 1 plus resistance 2, or 7.25 plus 4.03, which is, e okay. is equal to 11.28 uh, ohms. A couple things to notice. Yes, what's the question? No, there's no question. That, it, that it's irksome if there's no question. Yeah, I'm sorry, I you. I accept your apology. <laughs> Notice uh, sig fig wise, it actually add, uh, when you just add like this, we end up with four sig figs because you keep the two after the um, you keep a fixed number of decimals. But anyway, uh, the point here is that as you add resistors in series, the resistance of the circuit increases. Part B: the electric potential difference across each of the resistors. Christine, how do you want to solve for the electric potential difference across 
each of the resistors. Our goal is to figure out part B, the electric potential difference across each resistor. What, how do you want to start solving for that? V? Electric potential difference, what? Is equal to? The terminal voltage, just getting all the terms. I agree, we know this equation is correct. The problem with this is the only one of these two that we know right now is the terminal voltage. We know that's nine volts, so we can't solve this equation just yet. It's good to have this equation up here and it is correct, but we cannot solve it yet with it. two steps just to mm -hmm. make sure everybody understands what's going on. So we start with this equation. The electric potential difference equals the current times the resistance. Now we're going to substitute in uh, uh, the subscripts here. We have electric potential difference sub T. What do we call this again? Uh, Andrew Carbo? Uh, terminal voltage. Terminal voltage is going to be equal to the current across the uh, terminals of the battery. What are we going to, what subscript are we going to use for that current? We do. Oh, T. T. This is the current across the terminals of the battery times which resistance? What resistance are we going to use for this? Wicked. The equivalent resistance of the load. Okay. So we can solve for, as you said, the, cur the current delivered by the battery, the terminal current, is going to be equal to the terminal voltage divided by the equivalent resistance. We have the terminal voltage, it was 9 divided by the equivalent resistance of 11.28 ohms. The current delivered by the battery. It's equal to? in amps. So why does that help us? We have figured out the current delivered by the battery. Uh, Jessica, how does that help us? We figured out the current delivered by the battery. We're trying to figure out the electric potential difference across resistor 1 and resistor 2. This is helpful, but I want to know why. to help her out. Uh, Lindsay? Because the current is the same also. Therefore, this is also equal to what? This is the current through resistor 1 and the current through resistor 2 because in a series circuit, all of the currents are going to be the same. Good. Now we can figure out the electric potential difference across resistor 1 and resistor 2. Hannah, how are we going to do that? specifically, what subscripts are we going to use? All, if we're going to figure out the electric potential difference across resistor 1, we can just use all ones. We have the current 1, which is the same as the current through the battery, or 0 0.79787 times resistance 1, which was 7.25. Therefore, the electric potential difference across resistor 2 is equal to. I, we, 
I'm sorry, I meant one because I was figure, trying to figure out the number here. Thank you. We'll do that in a second. So, electric potential, potential across uh, resistor one? 5.78. 5.78. Give me a little more. 4.5. 4.5. Four, four, five, and that is with sig fix 5.78 volts. And as Mitch just pointed out, the electric potential difference across resistor two is going to be equal to current two times resistance two. We have current two 0 0.79787. Resistance two is 4.03 and we have the electric potential difference across resistor 2. I'm sorry, 3.2154. Again, with sig figs, 3.22 volts. Now, I just want to point out that we can come back to the original equation that we had and show that the electric potential difference across the battery should be equal to the electric potential difference across 1 plus the electric potential difference across 2, or 5.7845 plus 3.2154. Am I correct that that works out to be 9.00 volts? Yes? Good. So you can see what we did here is we just used the equation electric potential difference equals current times resistance and what we knew about uh, current and electric potential difference in various, uh, in a series circuit to figure out that information.